Who's the first person you work with? with first artist, your first artist. Like first real big artist. Yeah. Patty Labelle. Wow. I was oh. in high school. Wow. 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 I was a junior. Wow. How did you work with her in high school? Um, this is a long story. Someone, someone, my my demo got to someone's hands at a record company. He heard it and was like, "Yo, you're moving in with me." And I was like, "What? Yeah, you're moving up to Hackensack, New Jersey, with me. I got some work for you." I was like, "Let's go." So I go up there and Mom, I'm going to Hackensack. Whatever, yeah. just close my door. Yeah, <laughs> like like, and I, I think it's it's imperative that people know the story of that year when I was in high school. I went to school and my teacher, my history teacher, gave me a paper, a newspaper that said black people will be extinct by the year 2000. Ooh, wow. And the reason why she gave it to me was because every <laughs> every 11th period, I'd be sleeping in her class mm. because I'd be tired from making music from right. the night before. Right, right, right. So not, she, not hanging out, just yeah, acting, yeah, yeah. making music. So she, would get, she gave me this paper in a way to say, you're never going to make it anyway, so. Right. Sleep. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. here's so so here's a paper. You you're not going to be anything. Stop making music, da da da. And instead of getting offended by it, I just looked her in the face, gave it back to her, and said, "Not only will I make it, I won't even be in this class by the end of the year." I said this, mm-hmm. and by I the said end the same the thing, year, but I had a GED. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you knew you knew that you were going to be capable of doing what it is. That oh, absolutely. You, it was never that. I knew it at eleven. Wow. Yeah. So F- Patty LaBelle's your first big artist. You moved to Hackensack, New Jersey. Yeah, I worked with Patty in Philly, actually. Scared, too, by the way. <laughs> Why? Like, uh, so, Philly or Patty? Because <laughs> you don't really start off with Patty LaBelle. So right. to work with Patty LaBelle and she goes flat in the booth, and you got to tell. Mm-hmm. I remember my brother said, I remember looking at my brother and saying, oh, she was flat. And my brother what said, is, What does that mean? That What's means, good? so in, in notes, if you're above the note, you're sharp. If you're below the note, you're flat. Uh, it means you're not on key. Right. Right. And she was flat, and he said, "Tell her." And I was like, "I'm not telling Patty Bell she's flat. You crazy, Patty Bell?" Right. He's like, "No, no, let her know. You got to tell her. Like, you here. This is your arrival. Sixteen years old." And I look at Patty and I say, "Oh, uh, Miss Labelle, um, that was flat. Can you do that?" She said, "Go on, baby. You can tell me I'm flat. You can tell me I'm sharp." And that was it. Once, once that broke, it was like I knew I could do it with anyone. Right, I, my fear was gone at a young age. You right. could put me in, in the because you were very anybody. young. I mean, when you was putting mm. stuff down, I was like, I, I saw your age. And I was like, how is this kid? Like, like you literally were a prodigy. We were talking when I when I talked to you. We were talking at uh, uh, we were eating, and you were telling me about all the artists you work with. Now, um, who who was the hardest working artist? Michael Jackson, by, by far. By far. By far. What's the first thing? Still he said to this day, huh? What is the first thing he said to you when you we find out you're gonna be working? with Oh, he told me that I had to dig deeper than what I've ever done in my whole life. And I went, what do you mean? He goes, sound, I don't want primitive sound. And what he means by that is, I don't want someone to come in with a drum set and hit a snare drum. Go find me a sound that sounds like a snare drum, but that's not a snare drum. So I had to go to the junkyard and hit on things. I would ride through New York and I would hear cranes going, and I would take a microphone out side in the street wow. and grab that sound and bring it back to Michael. And that's it. That's it. See, you're digging deep now. You're digging deep. You have to be a scientist when you create. Wow. Really? Wow. Yeah, he, wow. he told you he that he wanted diff- to. He's on a different level. He, he said he 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 told you he wanted to wreck disco. He wanted to kill disco. Yeah. He was he was he was um, he you know again that was a primitive sound to him. You know the whole genre, the of movement music? of disco, which he did, by the way, right, right, right. But you know, he felt like it was never to come back once he killed it. Mm. That was so he murdered. He wanted to murder amazing. disco. He not wanted to. He did. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he did. He absolutely he did. Donna Summers, damn that Michael Jackson. <laughs>